Well, you know, we had to live in these barracks, which uh, wasn't the greatest thing, but uh, uh, everybody was divided into a uh, certain, um, you know, area of the barrack. You know, one family and you, know, you know, one area, my sister another area, and my wife and I, we were just married. We were put into another area with another man and his daughter, you know, a younger daughter. And my wife says, I ain't not going to stay with them. So I went to the headquarters and I said, no, we don't want to stay in there. How can you, we find another place or can we live with my sister? My sister had a you know, big, big uh, uh, area, so we went in there. Uh, she had her, you know, my nephews were small yet. So we lived with them uh, for a few months, you know. We lost my dad on uh, July in uh, uh, 42 in Fresno Assembly Center. He, in fact, he was, uh, you know, they didn't have a good hospital or doctor, so there was a uh, right Fresno Assembly Center, the right across was uh, the park over there, so uh, there was a hospital, county, county hospital, and that's where they put my dad, and we got to go see him there once a day, only the family, one family, you know, a day. So we, my wife and I went over there to see my dad just the day before he passed on. And one thing he told me, he said, Joe, this is your country. You and the boy, stand up for your country. Yeah, that's what he told me before he died. <laughs> I never thought, thought he would ever tell me that. That's what he told me, you know. So you can see that he never had you know, any prejudice. <laughs> yeah, he was one of the uh, gener first generation I think ever talked like that. <laughs>